These two competitors probably were swept up in the emotion as well, but now they're going to focus on a spot in the fourth round. Adrian Bucking up against Miguel Pupo. What a matchup. The guru kind of flashback foundation to his surfing. This is a true coin flip. Well, for me, Ace has the upper hand when it comes to the power, but Miguel certainly one of the most stylish surfers on the championship tour. And uh, pretty even head-to-head -head history between these two competitors, Ross. Five previous battles. And three of them going Adrian Bucken's way. Two to Miguel Pupo. But no heats here in Fiji. So uh, a clean slate here. I'm so stoked. And just tell me about the energy. I mean, we had so many people out here for Taj and, and that you're the one of, you know, everyone's favorite surfers. So tell me about having that, pretty much the energy shifting maybe in Taj's favor at the moment in the water. I mean, then there's so many supporters out there. So how did you kind of quiet that noise? Yeah, it was definitely, everyone's got the Taj shirts on and stuff. And I mean, that's super sick. I, I would too if I wasn't in his heat. <laughs> but um, I just kind of quieted it out and I just took it like any other heat. And, you know, fortunately for us, the waves just started firing nonstop. And, like, I would kick out of a wave and just see him on an even better wave almost every time. And oh, nice takeoff there, right into the hood. It had zero time to bottom turn. So a nice late drop. The judges will like that. It's much more difficult technically to take off and pull straight in. Uh, but after that, the wave didn't have much to offer for Miguel, but a nice little start for him. Dreamy conditions at cloud break. That wind has just held off all day, and, and that's a good thing. As we see Taj. Just a slight sea breeze, but it's got enough strength and a swell to override that, that ripple. Miguel, without priority, takes one. It doesn't really transform into anything special. He kicks out, he goes bucking. He's going to uh, kick out two, so no points in that last exchange, just over 15 minutes to go. With 12 minutes to go, Adrian Bucken taking off. A nice looking wave, he's in the tube, deep. This thing's trying to clamp, but holds open just enough. For the Australian to drive through, out on the open face now, holds that line, readjusts nicely after almost losing it on the bottom turn. Gets a nice vertical hit in on that third maneuver. Watch him just slide right in, no real bottom turn. So straight away, and then a, a couple of very subtle but smooth pumps in the barrel. And what I love so much about that is he was gauging how deep he was in the barrel. So if he got a little overly excited, he would have stepped on the gas too much, maybe pumped a little harder, and he would have had a shorter barrel. But because he had a good beat on how deep he was, he cruised through it. Just very subtle little pumps right there, and he maxed out his tube time. So I, again, I, I'm feeling like it's an excellent score. Hasn't been there since 2010, when he finished in seventh place. And here he goes again. So without priority, he picks off this one. This wave's starting to fade. But Ace sticking with it for a moment. Now he's out of there. Miguel Pupo hanging down on the inside. I'd say also Ace is inspired by... Uh, the new generation, all the 20-something year olds, 25 and under, you know, it's uh, those those kids are nipping at your heels. He's more of a veteran on tour. He's been put in check, but to his credit, he's, you know, kind of answering. Tenth year on the championship tour for Adrian Bucket. He's had two championship tour victories, one in 2008 over in France and one in 2013 in Tahiti. As we see now, it looks like Miguel picking this one off. Use priority for this wave. That barrel is clamping up. And Miguel gets squashed inside. Here we go, live action. And this is Adrian Bucken. Just dealing with that pinching tube pretty well there. And sets up this inside tunnel. Thing just flaring open. A really shallow section of the reef. And as a result, around a barrel. Yeah, I think pitched out. That must have been uh, such a great vision for Ace Bucken. He looks like he's in a good groove right now. Timing sets. And obviously, Adrian's timing at the moment's working perfectly in sync with those set ways, much like Taj in the heat before. Here's the replay of his last ride. All right, right there, gutted out. He's such a casual tube rider. I love how he's very comfortable. He doesn't look like he's scared or stiff. You know, he just kind of cruises right through the barrel. Tough one there, more technical, he had to bust through. Not the biggest set though, so he was able to break through that door. This is where it gets really hollow and he just stands tall and proud. That way he didn't spit, 
we talked about before is a good sign that that wave was really thick and hollow. So not a lot of reward. The, the barrel was a little tight out the back. Not particularly deep on the inside, so just a 5.67. So room to improve as Bucken drives down the line here, the 33-year-old. Getting caught behind here for a moment. He's out of there. Just over a minute remaining now. Miguel gets his opportunity here, chasing a 6.05. He's going to pull into the tube. Not a lot of points in that. And he's going to kick out. He'll know that that wave just wasn't hollow enough and he wasn't deep enough inside it to get the required number. And here comes Adrian Bucken just hammering down the line, down the reef to get to Miguel and control the dying stages of this heat. A little bit tricky. You know, 40 seconds is nothing, but a six is a not a big score. So he has to make sure he blocks Miguel in the last 30 seconds. Well, there's a lump rolling our way. And if Miguel even looks at this wave, Adrian Bucken's going to swoop on it. Miguel's just praying there's something behind it at this point. Well, he's going to uh, let Miguel have a look at it. He doesn't paddle for it, so still holds priority. 15 seconds remaining. Miguel's going to be left, looking for a 6.05, it looks like here. And he knows that uh, time is running out. He slaps the water in frustration. So Miguel knocked out in the third round once again. So this has been a real roadblock for him in Fiji. Adrian Bucken passed round three for just the second time in his CT career.